Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2022-23 Bowman University Chrome Basketball. Four box random letter break number 38. You can tell that the next one is in the store right now. The final third of the case. Here's all the letters. You know how this format works by now. Also, there are the letters right there. We're giving away four extra spots. So let's gather these names here. And for our first of two dice rolls, let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a one, five times. Top four, after five, will get extra spots. One, two, three, four, and five. Got Travis, Daniel, Daniel, and Nathan. Congrats to the top four after five. Some extra spots going your way. So a little uh, buy one, get one scenario for you. So now, Let's randomize you a letter. First letter of their first name. Six and a three, nine times for names and letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we've got Nathan down at Daniel. After nine, six and a three, nine times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. We've got A down at T. All right, Nathan with the letter A, Travis with the letter M, Daniel N-O, Nathan B, Daniel F, W-Z, Travis L-H, Daniel C, E, and G. Aaron with V. Boyd, J-S, Nathan, D, Aaron, R, Travis, P, Boyd with K, Daniel with T. So let's uh, alphabetize by letter here. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then, then we'll have that four box break right there. So stick around. Be right back. Hi, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so that list remains the same here on a Monday, June 19th, 2023, random letter break number 38. Final third loaded up in the store. After we do that final third, I'll double check to see, I don't know how many cases we have left, not many I think. So we might be running, uh, getting down to our last sort of run on all this Bowman University Chrome. A lot of uh, exciting off-season basketball news happening over the weekend, ladies and gentlemen. I think t yesterday or today, Draymond Green declining the player option, but apparently the Warriors definitely want him back. Back for a sign-in trade or back for a long-term deal that'll keep him a warrior for life? We'll see, but he's going to be becoming a free agent. Sources say Suns are finalizing a trade for the Wizards' Bradley Beal which is kind of wild. Lou Williams retired too. Um, Chris Paul was quote surprised by the trade that sent him to from the Phoenix Suns to the Wizards. He told the New York Times in an interview published Monday that he found about the news in a text from his son. Chris Paul also implied that Isaiah Thomas, the former Pistons legend, who is good friends with the new owner, Matt Eshivia, was involved in the decision-making process. Interesting. It's just, it's tough, Paul told the New York Times. Seriously, it is part of the business and what you realize is that no one owes you anything. No matter how you are with them or what you do, you, do, you realize that in this uh, business, nobody owes you anything, as it should be. But when it comes through and my son texts me, I realize that, you know, Matt and Isaiah, I guess, just wanted to go in a different direction. Interesting. So news of the trade that would send Bradley Beal to the Suns in exchange for Chris Paul and Landry Shamit broke on Sunday. The Wizards are fielding offers to possibly redirect Paul to another team. 
there's a possibility that the Washington and Paul could agree to a contract buyout, allowing him to become a free agent. Be interesting. I know the Lakers are interested, but I don't think they want to trade for Chris Paul. But they would like to probably bring him in on a on a on a veteran minimum deal, which is which would be a good thing. Is Chris Paul someone you want as your first or second option? You know, probably not. But on the Lakers, he'd be like a he wouldn't have to be the main guy. He wouldn't have to play a lot of minutes. There's Daniel Smith with the letter C. Purple Shimmer's not numbered. I mean, that would be like, a, here's a, a Yana Patterson for Nathan, letter A. It would be kind of like another coach on the court. If the Lakers are going, going to go with a little bit of a youth movement there, I think Chris Paul would definitely be very helpful. Obviously, good friends with LeBron as well. In a trade, I don't, I, I don't think that's going to happen. I hope that doesn't happen. I'm not giving up assets for Chris Paul. And frankly, I don't know if anybody else would give up assets for Chris Paul. This could just be a salary dump for the Wizards. There's Adam Flagler, this purple to 399. That's going to go to uh, the letter A. That's for Nathan. Now the question James was asking a little bit earlier was, what are they doing? What are the Suns doing? Not sure if in this current NBA, if the idea of getting like three stars and oh here's another Ayana Patterson a different parallel Nathan Ray Wave 115 out of 199 in this NBA and with you know the salary caps and all those other limitations and stuff like that is this the climate where you can add super like you know have a top heavy salary like we're you know the few top guys making a ton of money and then you're patching together the rest of the team there's race thompson 199 lakers tried that mixed results you know but other teams have tried that too usually it's kind of on the kind of on the not so good side you know because the margin of error becomes very narrow sure if everybody's healthy That'd be great, you know, but everyone doesn't stay healthy. Depth is important. We saw that with Denver. We saw that with Miami. Defense is still important, you know. It's not like the defense of the 80s or 90s, but still, relative to today's NBA, defense is still important. Do the Warriors, or do the Warriors, do the Suns have that kind of depth? I don't know. It's a big risk. Shaman is another depth player that you know that played significant minutes. I want to say, Forget, I'm not sure what kind of defense he plays, but I mean, we'll see. Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal, Devin Booker. I mean, that's that's a that's a fun team, especially during the. You know, especially during the uh, regular season, they'll, they'll light it up. It's not, not like the West is exactly a, uh, it's not a cakewalk. It's a very difficult to, a division. Denver's still out there. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at last year's standings. 
Does this make them better than Denver? No. Maybe better than Memphis. Better than the Kings. I mean, the Kings are still deeper, younger. I don't know. We'll see. Draft is coming up. We're looking for Victor Wembanyama in this in this stuff. Here's a Zion Cruz for Daniel in the letter Z. And apparently, Victor Wembanyama has arrived in the U.S. for the NBA draft. The plane from France carrying Wembanyama, who most certainly will be taken by the San Antonio Spurs with the number one pick in this Thursday's draft. Sorry, this Thursday. Zion to, to 50 for Daniel. Arrived at Newark Airport outside of New York City on Monday. Is the draft in New York City? Another Caitlin Clark. Some fans knew what flight he was on, and when the plane was landing, many were waiting. When Banyama cheerfully signed autographs, crawling his name onto basketballs, Spurs jerseys, some even with his name already on the back before hopping into an awaiting vehicle. Here's Tyrese Proctor, Red Wave, 1 out of 10. Nice low number there. It's one of the lowest numbers I've seen in these boxes. That's going to go to Daniel in the letter T. Not sure what his status is, but hopefully if he's playing another year in college, he does well. And if he gets drafted, hopefully to a nice team. It'd probably be a good idea, ladies and gentlemen, to buy into these breaks and just even even if you don't get the sort of the popular letters, right, like V and C, you know, you never know who's going to, which one of these players are going to get taken in the draft, which one of them end, ends up being a big name. You could probably sell these on draft night. You know, if one of those players get drafted, there might be some fans who want to get, probably going to look at eBay and look for uh, autographs or cards of these players. You know, someone could be like, hey, Malik Renault was drafted by my favorite team. Let's pull up the eBay. Let's see what we got on there. Maybe maybe buys this purple mini diamond to three ninety nine card off of uh, off of Travis, who has the letter M. It's possible. A uh, quote from Victor Wembanyama, he's saying, a quote, I don't know how they knew what flight I was on, but it's fun. He said in a video distributed on the NBA social media channels as he walked to the New York, New Jersey airport. It's different seeing that you can have such impact on people. It's the start of a hectic few days for the 19-year-old French phenom who has, long considered, who has long been considered a generational prospect the likes of which hasn't been seen since LeBron James entered the league in 2003. When Banyama is expected to appear at a pre-draft and media availability Wednesday, then has the actual draft on Thursday, and will likely be in San Antonio sometime Friday, the rest of his summer won't exactly be slow either. When Banyama has already been announced as one of the expected participants of the inaugural NBA Con in Las Vegas, slated for July 7th through 9th, which coincides with the start of the summer league there. And he has said he wants to play for France in the Basketball World Cup, which will take place in the Philippines and in Japan starting in late August, running through September 10th. Let's see if the Spurs let him do that. I don't know, but you can't bubble wrap kids, right? You're just like, they're gonna get injured, they're gonna get injured going to happen at some point or another. Players have to play. Athletes have to play. Got some exciting uh, college World Series action happening here. 
These are like the final set of games before the actual final, right? Which is this weekend, maybe? We got Mike Miles to 199. Letter M, that'll be for Travis. Oh, and there's Jalen Wilson autograph. That's going to be for Boyd and the letter J. So we got LSU at Wake Forest. There's Ernest, Uda Jr. going to Daniel. It's to 299. There's Marcus Basser. And we got a Ray Wave Anthony Black, 14 out of 199. It's for Nathan, letter A. Fourteen out of one ninety-nine. And there's a uh, shorter printed insert here, the uh, big kahuna, Tyrese Proctor. Going to Daniel. Sometimes we can find autographs on these big kahuna cards. There's Khalil Ware. Fourth and final coming up. Alan's going for, pulling for Wake Forest. Yeah, they're supposed to be really. I'm, I haven't. I don't follow college sports in general too closely, but my understanding is that Wake Forest is is the number one seed for a good reason. I guess what's fun about the College World Series, base men's college baseball World Series, is that uh, 
probably see some uh, some players get drafted at some point this year. July, I think. I think the baseball draft is now where the uh, where the All Star break is, and during the time of the All Star break. There's Kamari Lands for Boyd in the letter K. We got a gold shimmer, 35 out of 50. Rasir Bolton for Aaron in the letter R. And we've got an Ashlyn Watkins, four out of five. Red shimmer autograph. Going to the letter A for Nathan. And Nathan, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Hopefully we'll see Ashlyn get drafted as well. Has the WNBA draft happened already? 005 out of 399, Jalen Wilson, Purple Mini Diamonds. And that, my friends, is that. Hmm. All right. And Jalen going to Boyd and the letter J. There you have it, boys and girls. Another four boxes in the store right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.